Okay, it's cute cool fiber two four with the my new workbench. And see? Clean it all up. And now this is where I work <laughs> to do all my stuff. And yeah, electrical tape and all the stuff. Fix that, yeah. Okay. This is my uh little desert micro desert truck. And then uh right here is a chassis I cut out. See, you can see the dots right there. Cut out, but uh, not yet to drill the holes yet, because I haven't had the time. But I might get to it soon. And that's a little, uh, little um, it's gonna be a uh, little um, what you call it, a stand for a micro T or a micro desert truck. I'll get back to that on another video. Down here, yes, I built this, the wood part. Uh, all I had to do is just uh, cut these. And then, and then just, um, I sawed it and then nailed, one nail down just to hold it. And then just stapled around it with the staple gun. And yeah, it holds pretty good. Okay, over here. As you can see my batteries. It's my, uh, home for my, uh, micros. And it's a red line. It's having problems right now, as you can see, that's why it's on there. It's uh, on this place right here, and um, uh, uh, I think it's a 130 motor, and it's having issues, so I might go back to the original one, and it's the micro T, as I haven't got uh, gone to it yet, and just a piece of styrene to make bumpers or whatever, and here it is long time since I made a video of it but yeah uh, this is a uh, sports wreck chaos you see and yes I'm fixing it right now that uh, the gears uh, for the uh, differentials right here and on the back I have uh, stripped so buying that off eBay eBay right now so it's pretty cheap cheap so it's I'm gonna get it running and here's the engine the fuel tank with the fuel fit uh, a fuel filter is it exhaust pipe and over here is my transmitters micro micro uh, red line sports rag and this is some other controller down here I have design kit, printed circuit board to uh, make make them. I just bought it from uh, from Radio Shack and a box that I keep. It's um, scrap box with pieces of plastic and metal to make chassis and stuff. And in here, in here is, as you know, the uh, what you call it, a uh, vacuum former. It's in there. And I'm going to make another video of it running. And I found some plastic already, so that's going to be a go. And putting this back there. Okay. And um, over here, uh, down here, I have all my glue. See, GW, GW. Yes, GWS glue, foam glue, lit, white lim, lit, white grease. There you go. Foam, shock, oil, trinity, and bearing oil, super glue, and all that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get more for certain stuff yeah and and here's my toolbox I have tons of more but it's just a little bit that's what I take from my dad <laughs> he gets pissed sometimes but not not really though but that's because I keep it in here and glue gun more transmitters it's for uh, a helicopter it's a four it's a three channel this is a uh, a park zone. Uh, it's for a uh, 
Micro Cetabria. It's in the fixing fixing right now, so once I uh, get it done, it's been sitting there for like what about almost a year. Not 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 there yet though, but yeah, I'm fixing it right now. Three channel, but it's a four channel transmitter, and this is a four ch channel transmitter too. I got Sky Sport, so I'm still having that, and that this controller is gonna be for my next project. GWS slow state which is over here which is over there yeah it's a slow state compare the size my hand and yeah and then the uh, wings over there and that's pretty much it of my uh, desk